Hey, welcome back and thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I got some stuff to do under the boat. One of the things I need to do is change the packing in our stuffing box for the propeller shaft. I learned a little trick from another Tiana owner. In order to keep water from flooding in the boat, he recommended taking a toilet wax ring and plugging off the cutlass bearing, pack some wax ring around it, and then you can do your work without fear of flooding the boat. We've got multiple redundant bilge pump systems, so I'm not worried about that too much, but it seems to me like I, I try and anticipate the worst. It could be a stressful situation. One of the things I want to do, and it concerns me with water influx into the cutlass bearing, is keeping the wax from getting shoved way up in the cutlass bearing and then cutting off the water supply ultimately once I do get it fixed. So in addition to that, I'm going to wrap a little plastic around the uh, prop shaft, pack some of that wax ring around it, seal it off, and first off I need to remove the zinc uh, from the propeller shaft because it sits too close to the cutlass bearing in order to pack that wax around it. One thing I did do, instead of using your typical flax, Teflon impregnated, whatever stuff from West Marine, I ordered this stuff. It's Palmetto Packings. It's 100% GFO fiber. And what this is, is it's a graphite impregnated woven braid. I'm going to cut some rings of this thing and pack it into the stuffing box once we're done. It's virtually self-lubricating. Uh, very little water flow is needed to keep the uh, keep the shaft lubricated because it's graphite impregnated. Haven't heard any bad things about the GFO packing. Seems like a good day to get uh, the mask and snorkel on. It's going to be a hundred and like a hundred and two today. It's going to be a hundred and four tomorrow. Let's do some work on the bottom side of the boat. All right, so change of plans. It uh, looks like the zinc has backing nuts on each side with opposing screws. And I know for certain if I try and pull that uh, zinc off, I'm gonna end up dropping one part or another and I'm gonna be screwed. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the zinc on. Pack this uh, Johnny wax ring around the uh, cutlass bearing. Failure. Shoot. That ain't good. This is a mess. All right, so that didn't work. So now we go to plan B. Rescue tape. It's a silicone based self amalgamating tape. And thanks to Bill and Tracy from Hawaii, our dock neighbors down on the next dock, Happened to run into them. They recommended it. I'm going to give it a go. All right. Well, we'll see how that works. Uh, better than nothing. Um, hopefully, it'll help at least subside some of the influx of water into the boat. Yes. So this is our packing nut and stuffing box right here. Uh, these two nuts shove this collar down, and the stuffing is located inside here. What I need to do is wrap the GFO around the propeller shaft and cut several little rings, uh, making sure they're all cut on an angle so that when they, when they tighten against the shaft, they wedge down and close the gap, sort of like a scarf joint on, in woodworking. So before I wrap them around the propeller shaft, what I want to do is add a little bit of masking tape to increase the diameter. So what that does is it'll make the pieces a little bit bigger so that they will, uh, wedge down and pack in real nice and what I'm doing is cutting it at a 45 degree angle so this is going to be a neat trick I hope this works all right moment of truth let's open this thing up and see how much water comes flooding in the boat so I already took the uh, locking nuts off so these are the these are just the holding nuts. Okay, here it comes. 
Okay, there it's coming loose. Doesn't look too bad. There's not too much water coming in. The shaft actually looks pretty good inside there. The first is this little corkscrewy thing. So this thing is supposed to wind inside and snag the old stuffing material from around the shaft. So I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Looks kind of like a wine corkscrew. There's part of it. Hey, look at that. So the water's dribbling in at a pretty consistent rate right now. So this is the old flax packing material. And it's basically, it is flax. It's Teflon impregnated flax. It's actually, you can see, it's a little, it's wearing a little inconsistent, inconsistently because uh, the prop is a little eccentric to the roundness of the of the stuffing box here so what I did was ordered 3 16 material technically the diameter of the shaft and the diameter of the box are a quarter inch difference so I went a little aired on the side of caution and ordered a the next size down this little tool you can get it on I got this on Amazon I got this packing the GFO uh, graphite packing on Amazon I'll put links down below and oh it's coming in a little more now yeah it's, it's flowing all right here's the last one and yeah we got a gusher okay yeah it's it looks like there is one more layer in there all right here's number two I know this is the fourth and hopefully final layer of flax packing and this stuff is just really mushed flat good great there's still another layer in there all right we got five layers of flax this is a really deep stuffing box that's build cycle number two okay oh my goodness yes there's six there's one more layer in here I'm gonna just scream it hasn't really gotten any any more sex now nope, there's more oh, here it comes now it's really that must have been the last one because it's it's blasting now all right that is it so I'm gonna put the first one in seat this material in hopefully it doesn't displace the new stuff when I pop this collar off all right so I put the first one top dead center and hopefully it's oh, I just got shoved out now this is horse shit god I hope 316 packing is enough I'm gonna go with all of them See what I got. So that's five. That's four. It's going to be five. I'll put this one right back up at the top. Oh, God. It doesn't seem like it's going to compress. Okay. Put these nuts on and get this thing crimped back down. See if I can stuff it in some. Definitely need a couple more layers of this stuff. I can't get it to stop. <laughs> Should have got quarter inch. I don't even know what to do. 